Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome to Assassin's Creed, and indeed to Assassin's Creed Week. Because, of course, we have got Assassin's Creed Syndicate coming soon. And I said I want to play that because it's set in London and it basically looks like, from what I've seen of it, they've basically just made it into Batman. I quite enjoyed the Batman Arkham game, so you know what, I'll give it a go. But obviously I've realised there's quite a lot of Assassin's Creed that already exists that I just never got round to. Don't know why. I didn't have anything against it. I never really played it. So I just thought, you know what, let's go through Assassin's Creed. So we are going to do an Assassin's Creed game Every day this week, I'm going to go through, I'm not going to go through every game because bloody hell, there's quite a lot of them, but I'm going to go through five picks of Assassin's Creed games that I've spoken to people who really like this franchise and they've told me what kind of ones I ought to be looking at. So, we're going to start with Assassin's Creed and we're going to do a different Assassin's Creed game every day for the rest of this week. Sure, just begin the game with terrifying women with no faces, pleading with me for help. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Well, I would do, but a minute ago you showed me five women without bloody faces. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. You know, if you were actually evil and you'd kidnapped someone and you wanted to use them conscious to do some sort of experiment, you might want to, you know, create some sort of cunning lie about how they're sick and this is medical treatment. In fact, just do the thing at the beginning of Soma, then they'll just go along with you willingly. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. If that was true, then as time went on and more generations occurred, then we'd need to be using up more and more of our DNA in order to store the memories of an increasingly large number of generations or we'd need to actually be adding in new DNA. New genomes would have to be constantly created just to provide extra storage space. It's bloody convenient she was wearing a label with her name on it, because if I'm able to escape, I can take that straight to the police. You'd think possibly they would have thought of that. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. You say this, but this is a huge number of people carrying incredibly delicate pots on their head. This is too hilarious not to just run into. Ah. Ah. Now I'm curious as to what the biggest chain reaction of people I could work through would be. Yes, that's right, all of you down. Oh, that's a good number of pots destroyed. Oh, that's a good one. If you punch one, everyone drops their pot. That's good. I love just standing still while holding the gentle push button. You just stand there and just kind of gently caress anyone who tries to walk past you. In fact, you are just regularly... He does basically look like he's just standing in a square, <laughs> squeezing women's breasts as they pass by. Also, there's something not quite right about his arm movements. They feel a little bit too long. He feels like a puppet. I feel like his arms are a little bit too skinny and too long there. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. So these are my socially acceptable act. There's punching there. It's socially acceptable to just punch. Is it like a gentle punch? Like that was a gentle shove. So can I just walk up to this guy like actually in front of him and just assassinate him like that? Ah, oh, apparently so. I would assume that other people will notice and object. Yeah, like that guy. That guy's probably going to mind. Maybe not, though. That guy's going to be incredibly bad at his job. Where could he be hiding? Okay. these One of these things is not like the others. I get how I could hide in hay or inside a garden, but on a bench? I, I'm wearing really distinctive clothing. Wait. There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. 
He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. Oh no, am I piling dishonor among murderers? Oh, what a bloody shame. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Well, on the plus side, I actually feel much better as an assassin. If I get to be the sort of assassin who just kind of, you know, murders people and doesn't really care so much about honor because he can see it's total BS, that's quite nice. Right, I'm guessing that's... That's the way my ancestor didn't go, so I can't go that way, that's fine. So I've got sprint, screw you! <laughs> Press RT and A and move left stick to jump from object to object. Okay, so I need to go into running, running, running. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, so there's, yeah, there's a bit of kind of free movement-y parkour -y stuff going on here. Alright, fine. Climb ladders. It feels nice and smooth. That's good. Oh, oh, there's a man to stab in the back, I reckon. Or I could just blend past him, but I suspect... Uh, do I get a choice in weapons? Oh, wait, how do I... How do I go into creep? Is there a creep, or am I just always creeping unless something else happens? Yeah, lock on to him. Uh, press X for a low-profile kill. Or press not RT and press X for a high-profile kill. I feel better about high-profile killing. So assassinate with black background and white text, or assassinate with white background and black text. Well, I'm going to go for high profile. I mean, it doesn't really make much difference. He is dead in either case, so, you know. There. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet. Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Altair, though he is being characterized by the script as a bit of a dick, is unquestionably right here. That if they want to get that thing, they're probably going to have to go through those people down there, and we are assassins, and they are... Well, they were mentioning Templars earlier. I'm guessing those are Templars and it's Assassins versus Templars and something, something. So, you know, it does feel like we're going to need to take out those guys at some point or other. Now, I sh gonna, I'm going to guess I can't blend, but let's, let's just eagle vision this up. So that's soldier, soldier, and the yellow means the main target. All right. Let's just blend in. Let's just blend in. Can I, can I drop off? No, I can't just drop off. All right, drop. Drop. Now blend. Blend in. Nobody's suspicious. No, no, we couldn't blend. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? I've got something to tell you. It's a, it's a secret, though. So I need to whisper it straight into your ear. Unfortunately. Um, yes, there we are. Oh, apparently I'm shit at assassinating people. You know not the things in which you meddle, assassin. I swear you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Yo, I still hold that was technically the right thing to do, it's just I was bad at assassinating him. If I'd have been better at assassinating him, then it all would have been fine. Right, I'm guessing we're just climbing. Ooh, climby. I like the climby, the movement is quite nice. 
But why do we get the feeling I'm heading into a moral lesson that I was wrong to kill people who didn't deserve it? And instead I should stick with the Assassin's Creed, which is that assassins should only kill people who deserve to be killed. But obviously we're an extra government, non-elected authority that just decides unilaterally who does or doesn't decide to be murdered. So alright. So how does this work? I can climb up and grab onto exposed rocks and that's how it decides where I can and can't climb. And wooden beams are okay as well. Well, all right, we made it out of wherever it is I was in pretty easily there, lovely. Oh, I'm back here again. Um, does that mean I did something wrong? Was I supposed to? Oh, do I have to do it again now, but do it properly? Is that what I need to do? I need to go back but follow the Assassin's Creed, but not be a dick about it. So I need to spare that guy or something. Oh, no, never mind. I just go on. Altair, you've returned. Rauf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. Oh, so is this just Assassin Town? Do the assassins just live in a massive great town? I feel like that's... That's asking for trouble in some capacity. That as an order of assassins, we ought to... Are you, are you all assassins? Yeah, you're kind of dressed like me with the little red... The little red band. What happens if I grab you? What happens if I grab you? I'm kind of curious now. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, um, ow, uh oh, I need, I need to find somewhere to hide, is that a roof garden? That's a roof garden, I'm gonna hide up there, yep, there we go, and hide in here. Oh no, they found me, oh, I've, I've caused a bit more trouble than I ought to have done, I think. I'm just gonna stay on top of this pole for a bit, because I feel like everyone's really annoyed with me. Ow, okay, that didn't work so well. Okay, I found a hay pile I could hide in. Now everyone presumably will know exactly who I am because I just grabbed that bloke actually inside my own hometown so everyone will know that was me because I walked through the gate and that bloke said, Oh, Altair, you have returned. So basically I've learned don't cause trouble. Just, just don't cause trouble. It's bad. Just don't hold RT. Don't go into aggressive mode. Just... Gently push people out of the way, because this apparently is fine. I can just stand here and just... Actually, I can just maneuver this bloke where I want to. <laughs> can I just move him exactly where I want? Yeah, I can, just gently, <laughs> I can just gently push him exactly where I want to. No, you're going over there. You're going over there. There you go. That's right. To the other side of the bloody tree. We apparently don't just have a town. We've got a massive great castle on a flipping hill. Alright, hang on, what point in history are we in? That's some pretty impressive architecture. I thought we were quite early history. That's that's some impressive stuff going on there. I get the feeling the Master is not going to be impressed by the fact I've apparently been ignoring the Assassin's Creed and I've been... I may have accidentally picked a small fight down in the town and then I threatened someone or something. I'm getting the feeling like the Master is going to be completely unimpressed. Also, I think I took several Assassins with me and I kind of left two of them to die, so... I feel like this guy is not going to be happy with me. Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. Ah, so he did want me to kill that bloke, because he was just implying that that bloke shouldn't have been allowed to escape alive. So I was right to try and kill him after all. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Oh, I feel like that bloke's gonna have some unkind words to say about me. Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go, 
Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Please wait. Skipping boring memories. Alright, so, uh, yes, unfortunately, I suspect the Master has a new favourite. Despite the fact he was left in a room by himself with a whole host of Templars. I don't know, he killed them? If he's the Master's new favourite, he's bloody earned it. Now I can have Hidden Blade Fist throwing knives. That seems kind of cool. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Oh, select my sword. No, going. I'm going to throwing knives. Screw you. Now, how do I how do I use a throwing knife? Are, are you wait? Are you Templar or not? Hang on, Eagle Vision. No, your allies don't throw throwing knives at them. They're fine. So I can throw a knife with X, or I can throw a knife in an aggressive fashion by holding RT and X. Now I, I need to know who I'm going for. Who? Uh oh, throw a knife at him. Right, which one of yous are bad guys? I don't. Oh, flip. Throw a knife at him. Throw a knife at him. Oh, I, I feel like I'm killing civilians. Oh, the civilians getting in the way. We should move the fight over here. Oh, yes. Oh, I like the throwing knives. The throwing knives are excellent. The throwing knives are really good fun. Okay, so lots of these guys are twitching and not actually, um, not actually dying. So, um, Heavenly Father... I do apologise for stabbing many of your fellow men, but on this occasion, they all deserved it so it was fine and in line with the Assassin's Creed. Um, but sorry for those other people earlier who I shouldn't have tried to kill, even though they were the leaders of the same organisation that just sent these. The Assassin's Creed is confusing. I like the throwing knives, however. The throwing knives do seem to be able to just, um, the throwing knives do seem to, if you can just catch them as they're running at you, just seem to be a one-hit kill, like the, um, the javelins in, uh, in Rise, Son of Rome, which is excellent, because that's quite entertaining. You're the enemy! Bye! <laughs> um, while I'm locked onto someone, I feel like I'm actually not that mobile, which is strange, so I'm quite used in this game to being really mobile, so I would have thought I'd have, like, loads of rolls and stuff, but... I actually feel like once you're locked onto someone and you're engaged in the fight with them, you're actually kind of, you've not got much flexibility. Have a knife. Have another one. I'm really bad at this. Throw a knife at him. That's better. Right, well, at least one of them over there is going to be a baddie. Yeah, it's going to be that guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. Uh, right, let's just quickly throw knives. Oh, I just hit that woman. There you go. Break off the attack and return to Masyaf! Al Mu'alim commands it! When everyone else is running away, that's normally... <laughs> I feel like I just skipped a really important memory there. Like, all of my friends were running away. Well, or did, oh, I decided to abandon too. So I fought my way down to the village and then decided to abandon the village immediately afterwards. Well, that's bloody heroic of me. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. I'm really bad at following orders. Like, I can't even follow the basic tenets of our association. So we're hiding here in this little citadel area. And we've got all these high walls. I feel like these guys who are just standing here should be doing something involving bows, arrows. Or if they're not good with bows and arrows, just masonry. Break off bits of rock and just start chucking them down. It works surprisingly well. Cities can hold out really effectively with the benefit of walls in this era of history. But alright, let's just go onwards. Admittedly, I feel like the game with its point there is telling me to go down. But I feel like I'm going up, which is a bit odd. Stand on that platform, Atair. What? Which one? This one over here? Alright, fine. Ooh, we're getting a nice little vision here. Ooh, birds! Like birds. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! Somebody start shooting arrows at him! So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Why are the Templars French? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it. And the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! 
could someone less important than me do the suicide leap for the point of showing off? All right, fine. Whee! Ah. Hey, doesn't work like that. You can't fall that far into hay and be fine. Quiet. Yeah, that guy over there, he is the only one who's reacted realistically to the hay. You can't drop. What the hell? What did we just jump? 100 feet? 100 feet into hay? Hay is not like this. Okay, now how does this work? So I can jump up to here, climb on top of it, and then go this sort of... Oh, I can go up this way, to this rock, to you, to... Oh, no, uh oh. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. That wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to go over here. I can drop in a lower tension or higher tension fashion. Um, I get the feeling my knees aren't going to do well in either case. I want to go... Oh, no, I can... wait, can I climb this? Can I climb... Oh, yes, let me climb this. Jump. Jump. Up. Up. Ah, we've made it. Lovely. So you've sent me all this way. What exactly did you want me to do here? Okay, so this is a tower just outside the citadel. Um, attack? Attack what? Oh, attack that, apparently. No, logs, my greatest enemy! You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. Okay, I'll give you that one. I was an idiot just stepping out into the area rather than just dropping from above and like attacking him from above or something. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Well, maybe if you didn't live in a massive citadel on top of a hill, we'd be a little bit less obvious. I feel this is your fault as much as bloody mine. I am sorry. Truly I am. Uh-oh. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. I'm just an idiot. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Oh. <gasps> so Altair gets killed. Who do I... What? Oh. Wait, hang on. Uh, that was my memory. Where's his kid? He, hey, he has to have a child because this is ancestral memory, so he has to have a genetic line. So presumably I'm playing as his kid now. Okay, so Altair is dead. And now we're playing as this bloke. What, what did he say his name was? Did he say Desmond? Do they actually just leave me completely alone with the incredibly valuable, presumably almost unique piece of equipment that allows them to see the ancestral memories, which they pretty much entirely depend upon for whatever their evil plan is. They've just left me alone with the machine. Alright, smash the machine. Smash the machine. They'll have no need for you if you smash the machine. It's absolutely fine if you want to kind of, you know... Oh, they've even flipping left... Please tell me they've actually left unlocked computers here. They have. They've left unlocked computers... They've left little notepads around. This is amazing. There we are. We've got a nice fire extinguisher there. Grab fire extinguisher. Smash machine with fire extinguisher. Plot has been defeated. So I'm guessing they're, they're the modern day Templar. This is... Oh. The door's even got the cross on it and everything. Beautiful. That's just lovely. If I'm in the bathroom and I walk into the shower... We go into the security camera, which has been pointed directly at the shower and the toilet. They actually have a camera specifically to watch me shower and go to the bathroom. You guys are weird. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Or I could just walk past through this open door now. You don't have that much initiative, do you, Desmond? Right, back into the Animus. Let's figure out what's going on next. Who am I, pl Wait, who am I playing as then? I just kind of assumed I was now going to start playing as Desmond for a bit, but who am I playing as? Because Altair just got stabbed. I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. What? And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. 
I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. You already did! You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. Knifey goes in next, stabby stabby dead. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Oh, so basically what you mean by you've been demoted is I've lost a lot of health, my sword, my hidden blade, counter kills, and my throwing knives? No! I was kind of hoping I might be able to go up behind him, grab him and throw him straight out of the window, but the game the game's on to me. There's invisible walls all around him. This this guy's been planning ahead. He's spent years building invisible walls. So what the hell happened to me outside? He he stabbed the assassin out of me. And now I'm not an assassin anymore. Or something. I'm not sure. So I've still got gentle push. I've still got gentle push. So I can still Oh yeah. I can I can still just gently push this guy. Though admittedly, it's more like I'm setting up a conga line, to be honest. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. So this guy actually knows who the traitor is. The traitor who betrayed the entire village to the French bloke. And apparently he's not going to just tell the master. Or the master already knows and he's not going to do anything about it. Because retraining me in basics that I already know is more important than actually capturing the traitor. Well, all right, fine. Oh, I've got punch again. Okay, so I've got to punch. That's all I've got. I've just got to punch. So, I need to locate the target. I need to, like... Oh, so we... So I know who it is. It's this guy. I could just punch him. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my morning jumps. I can jump really high from a standing start. That is impressive. Move towards the bench in low profile to sit. What's what I'm doing? That's exactly what I'm just doing. Is this not the bench? There we are. I'm allowed to eavesdrop now. Now let's lock onto him and listen. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. Okay, so the basket weaver is connected to is the one who's been carrying the messages, but possibly not intentionally. So we need to find the basket weaver, but... Let me see, the game slightly takes away the, the whole kind of I'm solving a mystery thing by the fact I've got this very... Oh, wait, hang on. What's this? It's one of these things. What... what what's a... What's a mass... Massif flag? Assassin's flag. We're collected from Massif. Is this Massif? Am I in Massif? Am I Massafian? I might well be. Ow! So, press and hold B while they're walking. All right, gentle push. Gentle push. Pickpocket. That's quite nice. Nice little, nice little mechanism. Then walk away. Okay. Nice and easy then. So, that gives me the letter that tells me who the... Wait, that gives me the letter, but we already know who received the letter... So why does it matter who sent it? Who sent the letter? Which presumably it was sending it from outside the fortress. So I don't see how that's relevant. Oh wait, I'm going after the bloke who received the letter. Well that's fine. Let's just target him. Too close to interrogate. We need to inform this interrogation by shouting at him. Follow the despot to a secluded place and beat him until he speaks. Oh well, well apparently we're not particularly subtle. There we go. Punch him. Punch. Punch. Ow, he punched me back. Oh, he's better He's better at fighting than me. 
I'm the worst at assassinating. Okay, I, this time I'm going to go for the grabby then punchy tactics. I feel like that's actually a good combo. If you can do a grab, push them to the ground, then just punch them while they're on the ground. It's not exactly heroic, but I feel like it kind of works. Uh-oh, grab him again. Now just punch him again. Oh, he's done this time. Okay, fine. I yield, I yield. Speak quickly then. I have no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I can't. They took away all my swords. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart. But truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. I am not convinced that the Master and the Assassins are the good guys in this story. Like, okay fine, the Master of the Assassins believes the Assassin's Creed is the correct way to go, but he's obviously a little bit biased. This other guy has a different point of view, and because he doesn't believe in our way, he believes a different way, we've just murdered him. Which is... which is not a thing a good person would do. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Oh, and they just had that entire conversation with my foot kind of underneath this bloke. Ah, and I've got my, uh, I've got my little blade back as well. That's good. That means I can actually assassinate people. I feel like that's a dangerous weapon, by the way. Like, if you were to trigger that while you just had your wrist kind of slightly down rather than up, you would presumably put the blade straight through your own palm, pierce your knuckle, and just have your own hand skewered on the blade. I guess that's probably the first thing they ought to train you in assassin school. In fact, if I've gone back to step one, I need to be completely fully retrained. I feel like that's where we should have started. We should have started with how to use your blade 101. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Now this is how you win. You throw them to the ground and then you just smack the blood out of them. Okay, whoever this guy is, this guy's tough. We should promote this guy. I love the people just standing there at the right. It's like, should, should we be allowing this to continue? Yeah, sure. This seems like a perfectly reasonable training exercise. So we're ready to head on. And we're going to get... Oh, I get a choice of horses. So we've got horse number one. Horse number two. Or, okay, so we've got black, white, or brown. Uh, oh, I just, I just went for this one. Uh, no, hang on. Off. I want the horse that matches me. I want the nice white horse. Because then it matches my robes and it looks like I planned this. That's lovely. Ooh, gallop for a nice high speed thing. That's lovely. Oh, don't run people down though. Or we could blend. What does blend look like? How is that different to riding a horse? How is that? So we've got this or this. And that's blending fine. You know what? Whatever. Right, let's go. Full speed ahead. Hello. <laughs> I'm an assassin, so it's okay. There we are. Up top. Synchronize. So this is just a way of me filling in my map, basically, then. I can just fill in my map by whenever I find these little towers. I can climb them, and that just fills in the map a bit. All right, and jump off into the... I kind of just assume there's going to be a, a wagon of hay at the bottom. One of these times, I'd just love it if there just wasn't a barrel. I just jumped off dramatically and just, you know, completely face and died instantly. Okay, game. You're impressing me now. So this is Damascus, I believe. The city of Damascus. Okay. That's impressive. That's, that's very big and very pretty. Oh, I feel like we've got trouble just outside the city gates here. 
Save citizens. Citizens you save from soldiers will help in return. Alright then. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh. No. No. I, I'm trying to... <laughs> Altair is in his dramatic I'm about to charge in mood, but the game has basically decided that I'm not allowed to do it that way. Stop this, please. There we go. Now we're allowed to use the horse. Don't worry, I'm just swinging wildly. Don't worry, citizen. Captain Horse is here. Captain Horse will always protect you, except when he's accidentally running you over. Then, then he won't. So I can blend in with the scholars. So citizen save. Scholars are a moving hide point. So I can blend. Ooh, I'm blending with them. Admittedly, I look nothing like the rest of the scholars. I've got a sword, and I'm wearing an assassin hood, and I've got the little red assassin belt that all the assassins wear. So I don't look anything like any of the others, but I'm guessing this is just going to let me walk past the guards. Though I'd like to think the game would just have let me murder all the guards, but I'm going to guess it's a bad idea. Altair, big damn hero here, just randomly holding a woman into a door. The gentle push is my favourite thing in this game because it seems to kind of break so much of the time. If you can just manoeuvre characters into corners, you can just hold them in corners. Oh, Tyre, you, you utter, utter hero, you. Okay, uppy, uppy, uppy. I do like the climbing. Climbing up is quite good, though I suspect I may have to do it a little bit too much. Because in Watch Dogs, I really like climbing the towers too, but there were just slightly too, too many of them. So it became a bit of a chore by the end. So now, do I know who I'm stealing from? Oh, is it? Which guy is it? I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. So we need to wait for him to look around. And then afterwards, after he's done looking around, then no strange pickpocketing him. Yeah? And then walk the hell away. So we've, we now know who the target is. But we can't kill him till we've gone and seen the assassin building. I know that. I was paying attention. I'm going to follow the Assassin's Creed. Hello, Assassin's Bureau. I need to have a chat with you lot. A man named Tamir. al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I am meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for... I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Okay, so having just uh, gone up to a tower and observed the local area, it now feels like I might be able to eavesdrop on something relevant. Whee! Ow! Okay, probably that guy. But I'm going to need to find a bench or something to sit on in order that I can eavesdrop. Uh, oh, here's a bench. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. So the beams which cross the central courtyard can be accessed. Okay, that is apparently of use. Your investigation is complete. Return to the bureau to begin. Oh, that's all I needed to know? Really? There's, you don't need any other information other than some beams can be accessed? Okay, back to the Bureau. And I feel like they're going to be disappointed because I was challenged to go and find out, you know, where my target hangs out. Where can I find him? What's his routine? I've learned exactly one piece of information, which is the beams across the central courtyard. I don't know what central courtyard. Can be crossed. That's all I know. But apparently I'm going to go and start the assassination yeah, now. Welcome. Tell me what you know. Tell me your rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. I didn't learn any of that. You've just made all of that up. You know, given how much all the assassins seem to love climbing and jumping over things, but how much they actually seem really opposed to killing, I feel like the Assassin's Creed would be much happier if they just became a parkour creed. 
That way there'd be literally zero killing, but they'd still get to do all the runny, jumpy, etc. I think they'd be happier. So let's go right up top of this big soup that I've found, where I'm guessing he's inside. I'm guessing I'll be better off if I just go into the top of it and just kind of poke down. I wonder if I can do some sort of like from above takedown or something. That'd be badass. Oh yeah, this, this seems like a sensible place to be. Right here. Eagle Vision it up. Wait, hang on. Well, how close am I to the thing? He's, he's supposed to be just a little bit in that direction. So surely he needs to be here somewhere. Let's just drop down. And... Oh, can't blend. I've lost, I've lost all my controls here. I can't eagle eye. I can't blend. My understanding is he's in this... He's very close to here. Oh, he didn't even... He wasn't even here. I needed to be here before he even showed up. I feel like this is the point where I ought to intervene if I was actually, you know, some sort of true hero or anything. There's an invisible wall. I can't get any closer to stop this. So we'll just blend up to him. Whoever you are, go away. Go away. Go away. Don't make me kill you. Look, just... Oi. Oi. Pu okay, politely push some folk out of the way, please. Pu shove. I will stab you if you don't shut up. Assassinate him. Oh, that's my sword, not the hidden blade. Is he, is, that, is he dead enough yet? Just go for him and just him. Okay, he's dead. We should probably go now. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. How did that all happen? Because he's got guards here. And this has to... Okay, that had to really happen because I needed to get the blood. Uh-oh, run. Okay, I should probably run. Return to the Bureau while anonymous to complete your mission. Yes, but first... First we should do some running. We should definitely do some uh, running. Go, go, go. Okay, that wasn't a place I could run. No, I'm, I'm stuck in a corner. Ow. I'm still stuck in a corner. That was the worst running. No, this is a bad place to run. Just, oh, the free running gets, you get caught up on scenery, which is a problem. No, just climb up something. Yes, that's right. Just climb up anything. Just keep going up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this doesn't seem good at all. Yeah. Go, climb up top. Climb up to the top. No. Climb climb up on. Uh-oh. Oh, oh flip. What's what's beneath me right now? What is beneath me? I don't even know. Oh, oh, flip. They're all trying to throw stones. Can I land on this thing? I can. Oh, but he, how did you get on there? Okay, we're just going to go up to this way. Oh, my goodness. That was badass. Ha, ha, ha. You stupid idiots. You, I got just far enough away that they didn't see that. Okay, that was cool. And I think I'm just going to wait until it's done flashing green for a minute. Or does it never stop flashing green? Because for the moment, I'm on city-wide alert mode. I suspect if I get seen, that's instant everything has gone wrong kind of territory. Um, oh, I'm into yellow at the minute. And I'm being told I'm allowed to blend. All right. If there's no guards up on the roof here then actually we should be all right to just run our way back. Boom. I am so good at knifing people. Though admittedly, I knifed him. Then we had a conversation in a weird parallel world, which definitely happened because the mark, which apparently I had to put his blood on, was had to be completed, So, which happened at the end of that conversation. But what were his guards doing at that point? Also, how would they know I didn't just put someone else's blood on that? Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. And with the first assassination done, I'm guessing I'm going back to play as Desmond for a bit. Yep. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Except this time she's staying here. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Well, by the end of the game, me and you are going to be a vaguely hinted at love interest and you're going to help me escape then. 
that's pretty much guaranteed. I also noticed that it was, of course, mentioned in a, in a previous part that Desmond was, though he's a bartender now, has at some point done some form of assassinating e work. He's killed somebody. So, given he's trapped here against his will and doesn't want to be, could just kill her. Or, you know, just knock her unconscious, check if she's got, like, a pass or keys or anything. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. And she even gives me access to her own inbox. Intriguing. Including a message that specifically frags that Warren's access key, he regularly keeps it hanging off his coat, not in his pocket, so it would be incredibly easy to pickpocket. So they've left one woman on her own, uh, in a position where I can easily get around the back of her. I've accessed her email account that's given me information about how security tags work, and which person who regularly spends time with me I would be easy to be able to pickpocket one of. It's like they don't bloody want to keep me prisoner. Also, if they genuinely are a pharmaceutical company, and they want me to run this test, why not just approach me and offer me a massive six-figure salary to come and just do this? Because, like, Desmond, has, if he's a bartender, just... Offer, just say, oh, it's an experiment. It's it's a new virtual reality game, um, and we'll pay you huge amounts of money to test it because your brain pattern happens to be complementary to the machine or something, something, something. And then I would just take the job and I'd do this freely without having to be kept prisoner. But no, they've kidnapped me, but then done it in the most inept way possible. It's all very bizarre. Meanwhile, in the Holy Land... Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. So what have I got back? I've been given a, uh, some sort of ability back. Yeah, DNA synchronization. Uh, short blade. Uh, new ability, counter kill, you can practice in the courtyard. Okay, so basically you get given abilities and you can very easily... Oh, flip! Okay, that didn't hurt, that's good. So just wait for the attack. Beautiful. So as you complete new assassinations, you unlock new abilities and then you get to practice them straight away in the ring. That's nice. I will say, I definitely don't bloody trust the leader of the assassins. Oh, my problem is I know too much. Oh, I see. So basically, uh, the view of the assassins is keep everyone in blissful ignorance and tell them only the bare minimum they need to know, and only the master of this strange walled society of assassins shall know anything, shall know all of the things. Everyone else shall be kept in ignorance as far as possible, and will only be told things when the master decides to tell them. That's, that's all deeply worrying. Alright, so there we are. That is... Jerusalem, very impressive walls, it must be said. So, alright, now I'm just going around, I'm killing people. There's clearly a wider plot related to the Assassins and the Templars. I don't trust the Assassins one bloody bit, and I suspect I might, my final kill of the game might well be the Master himself. Oh, guards! Guards, you say? Well, alright then! Bye, guys! Oh, no, no, horse! Horse, come on! Come on, horse! No, the horse is refusing! Alright, fine, then we're just gonna have to... Kill everyone, aren't we? Right, let's just counter blow all of these people. There we go, counter kill. We can just counter kill everyone. No, 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 no. You're not getting away. You're not getting away, mate. You're not getting away. Come on, and stab. And as we walked safely into Jerusalem, having murdered the entirety of its border guard, which you'd think would elicit a bit more of a response from either, you know, the locals or anything else, but never mind. Yeah, I'm going to leave this off here, and tomorrow I will pick up with Assassin's Creed 2. I've been enjoying this. I've been really rather enjoying this game. I think it's rather interesting. I enjoy the climbing and just the moving around and, like, observing and stuff. I think the fighting is much worse, and to be honest, the, the actual assassinating hasn't been that interesting so far, uh, given it just seems to be walk up behind someone and press X. I kind of want a bit more flexibility, so I'm hoping that maybe we'll find that in some of the later games. We'll find a bit more flexibility in what's going on, because it feels right now that it's like assassinating people other than the target just feels pointless, and the trouble system where you have to flee from trouble... Honestly, that feels more annoying than anything else. Oh dear, chain reaction of pops, that's a shame. Um, so, there's the stuff that I like and the stuff that I don't like, but uh, this is quite positive. I don't, as I say, I don't know why I've never played this game before, I just never got around to it. But we will pick up some more tomorrow with Assassin's Creed 2. 
but I've very much enjoyed what I've played so far. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd, and this has been Assassin's Creed. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Good dodge. Good dodge, man. Question is, can you keep it up, cop? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, nice. Oh. Didn't quite get that one, though. We are going to the gun store in style. Oh, where's my partner? Oh, he's not here. Oh, so long, loser.